Now my most popular viewed video on this channel is my LDV T60 review, which I did in March 2021. So I thought, well, we better do a recap on that because I hadn't done one for a long time. Uh, and here we are in October in 2023. So I've almost had this car, uh, what's that? Two and a half years coming up, three years, be three years in March. Time flies, hey? Uh, so, you know, not a, a lot has changed, but a few things have changed and there's been a few issues and we're gonna go recap and go over those today. Let's check it out. So here she is, the LDV T60 in all her beauty. As you know, we love this car. Now, one of the big changes we've done is uh, actually bought a 2023 model uh, for one of my managers here. So uh, we put wheels and tires on that car and I put the wheels and tires, uh, put the wheels off that car onto this car to give it a more modern look because one of the big changes with this car is it's uh, actually part of our rental fleet now. Uh, we rent some cars out and this car is part of the rental fleet and it's actually the number one rented car uh, that we have. Uh, it's the highest money producing uh, at the most often for the area that we are. And surprisingly, uh, or maybe not surprisingly, no one's taken it off road. Um, so we're gonna just go over a few things of wear and tear basically. So the plastics are starting to, starting to uh, fade a little bit, not too bad, not too bad. A little bit of trim detail, we'll clean that up, it won't be too bad. Now, as you know, a few of the issues we have, one of the big ones is paint. And uh, typical male fashion, I've done nothing about it yet still. Uh, the issue is still up here, which is the paint peeling off the roof, um, which still is an ongoing issue, but eventually I'm gonna have to get around to it, because as you can see, it's very, very sun faded, very sun affected. Uh, it's outside its entire life, this car. Um, so I guess you could do with a buff and a polish um, if, uh, if we get onto that. Uh, if not, we'll go back to that warranty issue. Uh, so yeah, rims and tires, uh, the headlight, the headlight, not headlight, the light bar. The light bar I think was on there last time, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, we've installed the light bar. No real dings, crashes, anything. Um, yeah, just that continuation of paint that's coming off but it's only just that one spot and it stops so who knows um, we'll take it back for warranty one day it's got a five-year warranty so no real hurry uh, the tubs had a bit of wear and tear this used to be used for a part of our workshop truck um, so a few little dings and scratches on the back again the paint issue across the top there not massive but it is an issue it's gonna have to be looked at at some stage now this model had the uh, this was the March 21 model, so one of the earliest ones, I believe. Uh, this had the tub uh, that was an insert. As you can see, it's all starting to pull away. They had double-sided tape holding it together, which probably wasn't the brightest idea. Uh, but the new model has it all uh, sprayed on, uh, which is far better. Um, so again, nothing major. Just some little nicks and dings. Um, never been used off-road. Never really been used to do much work at all, really. Just highway driving. Um, now, as you know, the LDV T60 is renowned for rust issues. This one is no different. Um, yeah, paint issues across there. A little bit of rust coming through. Again, not major, just these bars. Um, but one of the big rust issues is along the bottom of the doors. I don't know if you can see, but it's all starting to bubble up. Along the bottom of the door, there's a big bubble there if you can see that properly. So if you do have an LDV T60, any model, I guess, just check along the doors. So the bottom of each of these doors is starting to rust out. Um, and that's gonna be a problem at some stage um, that we need to get checked out. Again, so uh, plastics are all starting to dry off a bit, but we can rejuvenate them. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, other wear and tear issues, well, you can see the paint, not in great shape. Gonna need that key. Other wear and tear issues are, this probably happens with most cars, I, I would say, but uh, just this little plastic trim's pulling off. Uh, I did get a price to get a new rubber, uh, so we'll get that replaced. Uh, but other than that, everything else is A-OK -okay in good nick. Uh, the plastic door cards make it easy for rental access to wipe and clean. Uh, the rubber floor mats have been great. Uh, the carpet, the carpet is very, obviously it's a cheaper carpet. Um, and it is hard to maintain because it's sort of a thicker, stiff carpet, not much density to it. 
Um, so if it does get sand in there, it's very difficult to get out. Um, but haven't had too much of that issue. Just a couple of people have rented it and gone from the beach and walked into the car. Uh, one thing I did drop, somehow I've lost the cover for here and I did get a price to replace it. You can't actually replace just that sticker, which is odd. Uh, they want you to buy the whole unit, so that's pretty frustrating. So at the moment we just run without it, no big deal. Um, so far the seats are holding up. Uh, 60, we got 62,000 Ks now. And uh, I thought the seats would have squished up a bit more than that, but that's actually in pretty good nick. If we go into the back, again, doors are in good nick still. No real fading. Lots of room. As you know, I'm always impressed with the leg room in the LDV. Uh, so I'm five foot ten, and there's plenty of room. Um, no real issues here. Uh, one of the big things I love about this car is the, is the room in the back seat and how comfortable the, the back seat really is. And uh, a lot of the reviews we get, we get five star reviews for this car all the time. Um, and never had a bad review, and a lot of reviews are roomy, spacious, comfortable to drive, and easy to drive. Well, there's the issue of the, the plastic from the big ass stupid boots where we cut it open. Um, so, if we have a look under the hood, again, everyone knows I got that iDrive in there uh, just to give it some extra boost off the, off the lights, which is always good fun. Uh, if we have a look under the hood, if I can get in there, here we go. Oh, all right. All right, so really nothing major, just a bit dirty, needs a bit of a detail, but that's all good. One thing that happened to mine, the engine cover uh, it was a, like a rattling noise coming from the engine bay and what had happened is the clips here um, had broken off that clip onto that and it was just rattling on that hard plastic and making a noise so I just pulled it off and I don't know, no big deal. Um, nothing little engine clean, uh, won't fix but yeah everything else in good nick, belts, no oil leaks, uh, no issues with power steering, nothing to report at all. So. Mechanically wise, this car has been no issue at all. Um, like I said, love driving this car. It's still one of my favorite cars to drive. Um, only issues are just double check that rust under your doors. And, uh, and we've got some issues at the top there that we need to get checked out. But you know, overall, I'm still very happy with this car. Uh, passenger side, again, no issue. Just that little spot coming there. Um, so yeah, like I said, I really enjoy driving this car. Um, I think between this and for that price range, this was, so to put it in perspective, this was 28,990, brand new, five year warranty. Um, so it's really hard to compare anything to that in the market right now because I don't think anything exists. Maybe the GWM Canon, I think they're about 38, 35, maybe entry level. Um, but that's probably the only thing closest. The Canon's probably a bigger vehicle uh, I don't know about the engine capacity on that, um, but for someone like me, it don't really bother me. Um, it's just more about having a good, reliable car. Um, but yeah, the big issue for ours is obviously that paint issue, which under warranty doesn't seem to be a problem. The only problem I feel, I feel is gonna be is, uh, is the issue of LDV themselves um, doing something about it, which I think they will. It's just gonna be a drag out and take a lot of time. So there you go, so that's the LDV T60. 2021 model uh, as I said we also have a 2023 model um, which we've also had no issues with uh, beautiful car to drive and there's no rust issues on that either um, now when I say no issues as in mechanically we obviously have issues which are the paint and the rust on the bottom of the doors which for me aren't massive issues and as long as they cover it under warranty and get that sorted out I'm not really phased um, it's one of the many cars that we have so no big deal, I guess if it was your only car and that was your only way to get to work and transport, then that would be an issue because uh, I'm not sure if they would give you a loan car while they deal with that or what. Um, but yeah, LDV T60 2021 model.